Niggas talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So exciting topic right here on Keek on the Mic today as report out of Chicago is this. Justin Fields is demanding accountability from his teammates. And obviously, when we talk about this, Ryan Poles wasted no time and overhauling the entire Chicago Bears offense the past few months. And we all know that's no surprise as the Chicago Bears offense last season was one of the worst in the NFL. So Ryan Poles, new Chicago Bears GM, got right to work uh, adding new faces to the offensive line, wide receivers, and tight end rooms. And for most of these new guys on the Chicago Bears roster, their first order of business was getting to know their quarterback, Justin Fields. And we talked about this a lot, but the first impression of Fields are have always been good. And for these new guys, it's been nothing different. The first impression of Fields have not disappointed. And most of the new guys have already noticed his physical abilities from that strong arm of Fields, the accurate deep ball, and that ridiculous speed that Justin Fields possessed. But something that's kind of interesting about this, for most of these guys, that's not what stands out the most about Justin Fields. The new players on the Chicago Bears roster have gained a much greater appreciation for his relentless work ethic, which we've heard that before. We've had conversations about Justin Fields' insane work ethic before. And it turns out that that mentality reflects in his leadership. And new Bears tight end Ryan Griffin had this to say about Justin Fields. Just his demeanor. He is learning, but while he's learning, he's upset with his mistakes. He's not okay with guys in the wrong place. He'll tell you that, and that's what you need in the leader of this offense. So an example would be some some guy makes a missed assignment. It's okay. We'll move on. No, we get it corrected right there, and it starts with number one. Ryan Griffin also said, he is the most focused individual I've ever been around. Determined, hardworking. I don't see him smiling ever, really. And it's not because he's not having fun out there, but this guy wants to win. It just oozes through every moment he makes out there. Huh. That I, I really like to hear that from players, but especially new players added to the Chicago Bears roster. And honestly, Bears fans, this falls in line with everything we've heard or seen with Justin Fields. We've heard his insane work ethic is crazy. He is a competitor. Nobody hates making mistakes more than Justin Fields. And as a leader, it is his job to ensure that everyone is on the same page. And just like Ryan Griffin just said, Usually, if you make a mistake, oh, it's okay. We'll move on. No, Justin Fields grabs that player and instantly says, hey, I really want you to run this route this way. And that's how you create that connection. That's what leaders are supposed to do. And we all know that Justin Fields has that capability to be a leader. And for the first time ever, Justin Fields has full control of this offense. Obviously, last year, when you look at the Matt Nagy situation, and once again, I know I keep bringing up Matt Nagy, but it's I like to use Matt Nagy as an example of how he was trying to develop Justin Fields, which, which we all know that's not true. But when you look back at the Matt Nagy days with Justin Fields, Justin Fields didn't know his role. He didn't get all the reps, right? We just talked about this yesterday. He was splitting reps with Andy Dalton. He was splitting reps with Nick Foles. So Justin Fields wasn't really the leader of the team. We understood that he was the future, but he wasn't really the leader. So now, fast-forwarding to this year, in the Matt Eberflus era, the Ryan Poles era, Justin Fields understands that he now has full control of this football team. He understands that this is his football team, and it's really, really nice to hear that new guys added to the roster like Ryan Griffin already see that leadership oozing out of Justin Fields. And we all know that Justin Fields is doing everything in his power to ensure that the Chicago Bears are competitive. And I'll be the first one to say that this may be a terrible season for the Chicago Bears. But as long as Justin Fields continues to work hard, show that leadership, and take the steps that we need him to, I am super excited, super pumped about the future of this organization. Obviously, I've seen the comments. There's a lot of negativity uh, surrounding the national media and even some Bears fans surrounding the Chicago Bears and their future. A lot of people don't think Justin Fields is the answer, which that's your opinion. But I truly feel that this young kid with finally full control of this organization 
will take this team places. Will it happen right away? Will it happen overnight? Absolutely not. We are in a rebuilding uh, transition stage, right? But I feel that we finally got it right with Justin Fields. And I'm going to keep that confidence until, let's say, it doesn't work out with Justin Fields. But I am super confident that Justin Fields is the guy. And obviously, when you look at Justin Fields, he is most likely haunted by his rookie year, the mistakes that he made, right? And obviously, Matt Nagy didn't help that situation for him. He didn't help Justin Fields um, develop whatsoever. But he is really probably haunted about what happened last year and the mistakes that he made. And he doesn't want that to happen again. He doesn't want to feel what he felt last season in his rookie year, right? So he's taking full command of everything and everyone's actions to make sure that doesn't happen again. And let me tell you, Bears fans, that is a true leader. That's what leaders are supposed to do. But he wasn't able to do that last year because of Matt Nagy. Matt Nagy didn't give him the keys, which for most Bears fans, including myself, that drives us crazy. You select a guy, you trade up to get him. He should have instantly been handed the keys to the organization. But all in all, I'm happy that his time has finally has come. That he was finally handed the keys to the organization. They're letting him take full command of this offense, which that's the only way that he's going to create those connections. That's the only way that this offense and this football team is going to get better is if Justin Fields gets better. If Justin Fields takes full command, which by Ryan Griffin's comments, he definitely is. He is showing that leadership. And it's so fun and so interesting to hear that everybody that first meets Justin Fields says the same exact thing and same work ethic, competitor. Obviously, they list the physical skills, his leadership. It never fails. Never fails. I am so excited about the future of Justin Fields, and I'm so excited about the future of the Chicago Bears football team, and I think you guys should be too. So once again, I know I ask this question a lot. How excited are you guys about the future of Justin Fields? Let me know down below in the comment section. And I also want to ask you guys this. How, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about what Ryan Griffin had to say about Justin Fields? Let me, let me know uh, down below in the comment section about that as well. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.